Hi beautiful peeps of the internet, this is Jasmine, and this is another video for everybody who is planning on moving on their own, and they just need some advice, so let's get started. I'm going to start out with the pros. Um, independence. You become more of the boss of the household. What I mean by that is you start making your own rules and you have a lot of power on um, making your own decisions. It's another one. You get to make a lot of your own decisions while you're in your own household. So that's the one pro right there. Another pro is freedom of others' responsibility. So if you like live with your parent, a best friend, a relative, you have a lot of responsibility when you're living with this person. So when you move out on your own, you have a lot more freedom to do what you need to do and stay on track on stuff. Another pro is you get... Um, You get your mind on the right track. What I mean by that is like you start discovering yourself and you're more focused on your goals and what you want to really achieve in life. So you have more of a clear mind when you're living on your own. So it just keeps your mind all right on track. Another pro on living on your own is there's a lot of worries on living on your own, but the like the basic and essentials that you really need to worry about is food, shelter, and water. Those are like the three basic essentials that you really need to worry about. There's other stuff you'll worry about along the way, but that is like a pro. Those are the only things you got to worry about the whole time and time you're on your own. Um, okay, another pro is if you're a college student, this is more geared to the college students, you do become, you be more part of a community. So you like, you go to social gatherings, sports, clubs, um, social events like uh, music festivals and stuff. Like, this is specifically for the college students. It helps you be more a part of a uh, community. Like, if you're a freshman, I mean, yeah, freshman in college, and you're just a senior graduating from high school, going into a uh, freshman in college, you have more of an opportunity to become more part of a community. You're a lot more out there than you were at home with your parents. Another pro that I think it will benefit me more because I like to cook, so you get to do a lot more home cooking. Or you could go out to eat, but you get to learn more of home cooking and the cleanliness. You get to depend, you get to decide what to cook and what to, how you want to clean. Because a lot of people in different households have different ways of cleaning. You might be living with your parents, and they do most of the cleaning, or you do most of the cleaning. So that's another pro. Another pro of living on your own as well is. Uh, you get to take classes on independent living. They will teach you about fire safety, how to like manage on living on your own, how to like have a safe environment if you're living in an apartment. They'll just teach you like certain classes on living independent. It'll give you more information on living on it more independently. Uh, I think the last one is oh another pro. Okay. You will have less chaos in the household. What I mean that is like you don't really have to get along with any other person but yourself if you're the only one moving on your own. So like you can be staying with a best friend and you guys argue a lot or you can be with your parents and you guys fight a lot. So there will be less chaos in the household when you live under your own. You're only worried about yourself, me, myself, and I. And that's about it on the pros. I want to go to the cons. Okay, a con of living on your own is, this is the biggest one I think everybody should understand, is the, it's so expensive. You have bills, bills, bills. You don't only have, like, compared to when you were living to, with your parents, you probably only had to pay the rent. When you live on your own, you have to pay the water bill, the consumer's bill, the rent. And you also got to make a, de a direct deposit down when you first move into your first apartment or wherever you are deciding to live in an apartment, a uh, college dorm, like you have to put a direct deposit on that. So it's going to be expensive compared to when you were living with your parents where they probably only charged you for rent. Um, another con on living on your own is you might not be ready. Some people have different maturity levels. And... I consider myself, I'm very mature, I've, I've been a really responsible person throughout my life, even at a young age I was pretty responsible, but there's different maturity levels, so you might not even be ready 
to even move on your own, so it gives you a lot to think about. Um, another card is you have to rely on yourself. You are going to be alone. You're going to be struggling all by yourself. There's nobody you can depend on. It's all on you. So you better make sure you get those bills on time or you might be out of a house and a home. So that's another con. Um, another con is no furniture. Like if you're moving into an apartment, you're not going to have any furniture. You're probably only going to have all the essentials like bathroom, sink, uh, um, a refrigerator, like you probably don't even have a microwave when you first move in. So you're not going to have no items in the household. So that's something to think about to plan ahead of time. Like I know for me, my own experience, I'm so excited to move on my own. I'm not going to have furniture when I first move into my apartment. I already know that. I will give you an apartment tour um, in my next video, but you're not going to have any furniture. So you need to plan this ahead of time if you're planning to like move furniture into your apartment or anywhere you try to live at. Sorry, my camera is about to die. Um, another thing is the loss of relationships and your friendships and your relatives as well. You've been used to living with your mom and dad or a grandma or a grandpa, either or and the loss of a relationship, you're moving out, learning on your own, so it's going to be hard with your relationships because they're going to have to radically accept that you're growing up and you're moving on and trying to be a better person and prove that you can actually do this on your own. So, And when I say um, friends as well, is like you had a neighbor and you like used to talk and you were very close, so the loss of relationships. This uh, other card is packing. You're going to have some, have to have supplies like boxes, tape, uh, markers, so you need a pack is another card. And losing your items, you're going to also, you're also going to have to expect to like get rid of a few of your stuff. I know I had to because I was overweight and I had to get rid of all my fat clothes and now I have like hardly a wardrobe now, so, but that helps you become a new better person you need to buy more clothes. Um, the next con is finding someone to help you um, move. And like When I say that, it's like having somebody move your stuff into your new apartment. Like get a, I think the inexpensive way you can do it is find somebody with a truck instead of getting a U-Haul. So those are the cons. And I forgot to mention one pro. I should have did that at the beginning of this video, but I didn't. Another big pro to the independent part is you have a lot of more privacy. You have more time with yourself. And you don't have to worry about anybody. You have all your own space. Like, I'm going to love it when I move out. I live on my own because I just want to walk around naked if I wanted to. And not have to worry about somebody walking in on me. So... So until next time, I want you to press that like button and subscribe. And I might not be a star, but I sure shine like one. Jasmine is signing off.